All right, locker nuts. It's locker time. 2250 we spent on this 10 by 10. Yikes. Okay, if you saw the last uh, video, I bought one for a dollar on the same day. That one for a dollar was pretty good, but uh, this is the good one. This is the good one. Let's see what's inside. Here we go, okay, 10 by 10. And I'll tell you what I liked about it. This right here, I see lots of dry cleaning, lots of dress shirts to me. That means this is a working man. Working man meaning J-O-B job, which means P-A-Y paycheck. I see a briefcase, I see some dress shoes. I don't know why I like that. Okay, and white dress shirt. It's a good start. Oh, another couple briefcases right there. This looks like Nautica, oh, it's Nautica. We like Nautica. Nice luggage. All right, let's see if we can see back here with the phone. A little bit of furniture, right? It's boxes. Iowa, right there, Iowa, stereo or something. Yeah, okay. Down here, you can see under here. I saw right back there, I see a, looks like a digital camera right there. That, that got me a little bit more interested. Obviously I was interested, guys, to pay 22.50. Yowza, ties. Steve Madden shoebox. Honestly, I think I should have paid 900 for it. I almost got it for 900, but one guy started bidding us up at 900, and uh, I don't really know if he wanted it or if he was just bidding us up because he doesn't like us for some reason. I'm not sure. His face looks like this. So how do you read that? I don't know. <laughs> grumpy face, grumpy face guy. I don't know if he doesn't like us or if he really thought this was worth it. Mmm, that's probably not a very good sign. Dead mouse right outside the locker. <laughs> Is it a sign? Is it a sign? All right, first of all, let's get all these dress clothes out. Nautica. Jeez, this is some pretty good stuff right here. Look at these fancy pants right here. Fancy pants. Oh, they use duct tape to hem them up. That's not a good sign. Expose. Calvin Klein, Nordstrom, made in Vietnam, and that suit jacket. Italia, Alchemo, wash and rack. This is nice, nice stuff. Okay, check this out guys. There's a, there's a couple of clothes right here. Brand new with tags, but uh, looks like it's been off the hanger before, so I don't know, it almost feels like it's been worn. Hard to say because it's kind of damp today, so but it feels like it's been warm. But there's 58 bucks on that denim and flower, Ricky Singh, size medium. And then here, uh, security services. This is a work work shirt there, but it's brand new. Hmm. Brand new clothes, it's good. Oh, here's something. Look at that right there, Pendleton. Beautiful jacket. Oh my goodness, that's a nice jacket. Holy smokes, Pendleton dry goods. Oh whoa, small. Dang it. Oh no, that's going to be too nice for Stockton right there. Look at this thing. Tommy Bahama. It's a garment bag. That is beautiful, really. That is quite nice. Nordstrom brand is good. Ralph Lauren. Okay, I didn't bring uh, bins today or a table or a garbage can. My goodness, how terrible. All I've got is I have these postal bins, so we're going to use those. Uh, I, there's so many clothes. Let me get through it a little bit later, but first let's dig into some other stuff. Timberland. Timberland brand belt right there. Yeah. Nice towels. Okay. Hey, I like this. Old Spice. Deep scrub. That might be a keeper. Electric toothbrush. Milk and honey scent. That's brand new. Not even open, I don't think. Hand soap. Listerine. Toothpaste. It's like an overnight bag right here. Cooler bag. That's cool. Port of San Francisco 2023 calendar. Well, it's 2023, so I guess that's there's a couple pages still useful. It's umbrella, it's nice. Brand new, right? Napkins and paperwork. Top hat and tails designed in London. There's some brand new socks. Looks like you pulled a couple pairs out. Bummer, empty. Hair regrowth, empty. Oh no, guys. Oh, that sucks. You see this right here? That's rat poop right there. Oh, that might be some there too. Dang it. Some funky stuff there. 
Uh, there's rat poops in this plastic right here. Oh, yep, there's a whole bunch of them. All right. Oh, dang it. I didn't see that. This looked kind of clean, but hmm. That I knew that wasn't a good sign, but that's not mouse. That's rat. Mm, mm, mm. I don't like that. Let's see what's in the bag. The easiest way is to pour it out. Ooh, that's a cash envelope. Uh, just receipts. Uh, bummer. Matches. No. Nothing good to garbage. Ah, I mean. Oh, okay. I thought it was empty. It was super light. I thought that was another empty box. Like, come on, man. Ooh, those are nice. Mercanti Fiorentina. Made in Italy. Tens and a, ten and a half, and those look brand new. Like, maybe they were worn once indoors. There's, like, nothing here. Just a couple little things here. Wow, those are nice. Hoo-hoo. Those are nice. Okay. That's a little better. Huh, I don't see a price, but those have got to be a little pricey. A little bit. I don't know what to do with that. The guy liked the shop. Oh, there's some garbage bags. Okay, that's good. I did bring a few garbage cans. Uh, bags. Garbage bags. So there's a few more. A bag, garment bag. Another high-end hanger. There's some stuff in here. I need I need something to spill it into. Okay, I guess I'll use this again. Huh. Okay. <laughs> There's some rubber uh, gloves. I'm almost tempted to put them on right now, but what is this? This is a vape device, right? Like a jewel, I think. Hmm. Hand sanitizer and dermatologist approved shampoo. And quite a few bags in here, so I'll dump them out and see what we got. And a bunch of little medicines and stuff, like a first aid kit almost. Tea bags and bandages, more like first aid kit and tea bags. Kind of an odd pairing there. This is this is kind of strange, this this combination of stuff right here. CPR micro shield right here. CPR micro shield. Hmm. This is new. I might have to look that up. I might have to look that up. Sometimes that stuff's got some value. I don't know. All right, the rest is garbage. Next bag. Robert Graham. Hmm. That's good, right? Okay, nothing here. I have a feeling that was a yeah, wallet. Robert Graham's a good brand to have, though. Couple nice towels there. Okay, I'll put that I'll put that box aside in case we find it. Hmm. Okay, there's a nice bottle of wine. Josh Sellers Merlot. Okay. Shirt, nothing special about that one. You want a bunch of trash? Yep. Hopefully the better stuff's in the back, guys. Hopefully. Not starting out fantastic. Floor Shine Shoe Company. Whoa, those are nice. A little bit of wear, but those are still nice. Floor Shine, I think, is expensive. Okay, let me put those aside to the market. This is trash. Kind of like safety goggles there. I feel like it might be medical related. A lot of face masks. Look at that guys. Hillbilly engineering in effect right there in front of your eyes. Another nice towel. These are some good towels. Oh, Marriott. Okay. <laughs> Stolen from the hotel. <laughs> uh, okay, look at this. Large trash bags. Yeah. That's something good, kind of, a little bit. Toilet paper, always good. Getting the feeling this guy traveled a lot for work. Here, wreath growth treatment for men. Not for use by women, as far as 2021. Empty. Glasses, tissues, underwears, Q-tips, yikes. This is another, it's like he raided the mini bar and I don't know, but this, this kind of plastic is kind of weird though. 
Gap shoes. Bunch of junk mail here. Pens. What is that Louis Vuitton face mask? I seriously doubt it, but. These are just blank envelopes here from, from FedEx. This guy has a little bit of a hoarder. Right, what's this? Just a nice sunglass case, San Francisco. It's not bad. Could probably sell that. All right. Oh my goodness. I'm going to get 2250 out of this locker, guys. I'm not seeing it yet. Watt box. Nice power surge. Power strip. Garbage. Another Josh Winery here. What is this? Is lunch? What the heck is this? Plastic. Yeah, what? I don't, I don't like the way that looks. Solder uh, wire here. That's sellable. I think that's some kind of cleaning thing right here. Maybe. It's empty. Oh, no, it's not. Butane gas. There's a little bit left. Oh, there's a soldering gun. Brand new cup. Oh my goodness, this is not good stuff. I'm not sure what this is. Audio Technica. I think they're little tweeters or something right here. Hmm. They're heavy. Oh my goodness, guys. What is this? Do you see that? Oh, we're gonna have to get that out. Oh, that's wait, what is this? Oh, I can't move it. We'll have to wait a second to see a big dollar bill. Alright, let's see what's in here. Oh, not locked. Okay. Little junk mail. Business cards. Hmm. Dang it. I don't see anything. I see a lot of rat poop back here though. A fair amount. Okay, what's this? Okay. Foreign language. Things torn out of a neat magazine. Photocopies of business cards. What am I looking at here, guys? I don't know. Bunch of junk. Is this music? Are we looking at music notes? Fa la 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 la. Nope, that's not it. Oh. Okay, now we found a birth certificate. This must be some important stuff here. Hmm. Alright, maybe we'll give that back to the office. Or... Okay, that might go back to the office. What's this? Oh. Okay, heavy. Nice looking leather. I think it's leather. It might be pleather. Is it brand new? Why would he keep the paper stuffing in it if it's brand, if it's been used? I don't know. There's some Starbucks business cards. <laughs> this one's so random, I just have to laugh because I cannot get a beat on it yet. Okay, now we're talking. Potential. Potential. We got a laptop HP. Nice condition. Pavilion. Ooh, look at this. What the heck is this brand new? This could be brand new. You still got the felt right here. I mean, the screen looks per everything looks perfect. It, maybe you see a little bit of dirt. Like maybe it was used a little bit. I don't know. Let's see if it powers on. No, it doesn't power on. But um, that's a decent, decent piece right here. H S T N N Q. 33C, I think, is the model number. Okay, this is good. Real good. Like, best, nicest laptop I've found in a while, I think. That's why this bag is so heavy. I must have bought the bag just to protect the laptop. Oh, look at this. It's even got a little matching purse right here, and that's not even out of the bag. This is barely used bag. Business tote, Franklin Covey. All right. Leather-like exterior. It's not real leather. Still, this is a little bit better find right here. A little bit, right? It's not twenty-two hundred dollars, but it might be a couple hundred bucks. I don't know. Might be hundred. I'd say that's a hundred bucks minimum, just because it looks like it's perfect condition and a little bit newer. We'll have to look it up and know for sure. Okay, another heavy one here. 
he has shoved the junk mill in here. Empty. This one, look at the leather or pleather coming apart on this one. This one's been used quite a bit. But dun dun dun, dun another computer. Older. Dell Vostro 1000. Still a decent find. And more junk. Oh wait. Nope. Library card. Alright, I gotta look for gift cards, but. Alright. I'll go through and see if there's anything else in here, but it looks like it was just a bunch more junk. I did find some stuff from the Ritz Carlton, so homeboy stayed at some nice places. There's a postcard and a little bit of notepad paper. That's that's kind of neat. And here's something about applying for a patent. Prepaid cellular service peripheral device. Patent pending. So maybe he's an inventor too of some sort. Looking for envelopes, see if there's any cash anywhere. It's such a slim chance, but you know what? If there's always a chance. Oh, whoa, what's this? Souvenirs. Huh? What kind of souvenirs? Maybe the jewelry can? Let's see. Stay tuned. Oh, that is the jewelry can. I was kidding. <laughs> I was kind of being a smart aleck. I think that might be silver. Hmm. That definitely looks like silver. All right, we'll have to look at that with a loop and get a little bit uh, better look at it and take the magnet to it and all that kind of jazz. I definitely like that. I like it a lot. I like it a lot. Yeah, there's another one. Cool. All right. Put that over my keeper box. Okay. And just more junk, guys. Just more junk. Just more junk. Maybe this is our guy. It's like a passport photo. Okay, what's in here? Santa's cookie dough. Okay. It's empty. He kept it. I don't know why. Yikes. It's a sticky pen right there. Ugh. All right, DKNY brand new dress shirts right here. Let's pull those out. That's a little nicer. In Houston, club room, and club room. That's some nicer stuff right there. Okay. Maybe I'll use this for a little bit nicer stuff. Like De Anza stuff, you know. Or a live auction. You never know. Maybe we'll put it in our live auction. Live auction, you say? What's that? <laughs> I don't think we've talked about that for a while. That is whatnot, guys. Let me show you right now what whatnot is. That's where we're going to hopefully scrape out the best stuff in this locker. And so far, it ain't much. But maybe the laptops, you know. Uh, whatnot. It's right here. Boom. Check this out. We're going to go into an auction right now because people are doing this 24 hours a day, seven days a week. We do it once, twice, three times a week. Just depends on the week. And we're getting terrible cell reception here. So it may not work. But that's where we've been selling most of our stuff lately because it's just been great. We have a lot of fun and our buyers have a lot of fun. And if you guys come and join us, you're going to have a lot of fun. But also, you're also going to have a $15 spending credit for free if you just try it out. And that's only if you use our code, right? And that's only when you first sign up for whatnot. Use the code uh, when you sign up. The link's going to be here in the description somewhere or on our website, lockernuts.com, right? It's always lockernuts.com. Now that I'm outside, We've got some people selling stuff right here. Let's check these guys out because I know they do storage lockers too. So right here, Retro Gizmo is their example. And when we do it, we do the same thing. We'll have a live stream going. We'll show you what we're selling. I don't know what they're selling. A plastic box maybe? It must be some kind of vintage Tupperware or something. It must be something special. And then once it starts, there's going to be a little bid right here. A bid button. There we go. They're selling it for five bucks. So what you would do to bid is you just click there and swipe it to the side. I'm not going to do it because I don't want to buy that. That's not the type of thing I buy, but I do buy stuff here. I buy comic books mostly because it's fun. I've gotten some really good stuff and I've sold a lot of really good stuff. But yeah, that's what it looks like, guys. So you can scan through here. Someone's selling some coins. There's a nice Morgan. All right, let's get back to the locker. I just wanted to give you guys a little sneak peek. A lot of fun, a lot of chances to pick up some great stuff and a lot of deals. We start everything at just a dollar. And every week, almost every week, something sells for a dollar. So, ooh, what's this? Weatherproof, vintage. It says vintage. It's not really vintage, but it says vintage. Uh, the price is gone, but that's brand new with tags. Weatherproof. That's a that's a nice piece right there. And it looks like it was someone's Christmas present that they never wore. Kind of funny. Hmm. Definitely put that in the better box. There's a tape gun. 
box cutter. All right, let's see what's in this Nautica bag. This is not empty. There's definitely stuff in here. Oh man, this is a nice bag. I like Nautica stuff. If you guys watch my channel for a while, you know that I like Nautica stuff. King Edward's nice, nice washcloth. Oh, that's not for that. Never mind. Look at this, you guys. The tags for the the luggage. 320 bucks. Wow. That's an expensive piece of luggage. And you know what? It's, I'm not surprised because you could just tell the way the zippers move. You know, the quality of the zippers is the first giveaway. But just the piece itself, you can just tell it's a quality piece. We might actually keep this for ourselves. I just sold one of our old luggages. It's like, why do I keep an old luggage? <laughs> There's a brand new Calvin Klein shirt. We'll put that aside. More towels right here. Yeah. Good stuff. See if he stole these too. Huh? Don't know. Standard textile. Oh, wow. These are oh, the Skechers. But geez, look at that. Brand new. Never worn. Hmm. This box, I was thinking going to go to De Anza, which is our better flea market, but very quickly I'm thinking that eh, maybe it's going to go to uh, maybe our live auction. Maybe we'll try some clothes in it. Christmas time, people will be buying, you know. Security services. I think this guy may have had a couple of different jobs. Olive oil right here. Yike. That could go very wrong if it spills. Very wrong. Okay, this is more brand new tags, but it's more of the stuff with the company's name on it. So we'll pass that on to the flea market. Not a huge market for it unless you work at the company. <laughs> okay. Towel on a hanger. If you're in this business long enough, you see just about everything. All right, work pants here. All brand new. It's like he got a job and then he wasn't there very long. So he didn't even have time to wear his clothes. And at the bottom... So many napkins and a bunch of stuff he took out of the hotel room. Paul Mitchell, the face and body bar. Okay, what's going on with this? <laughs> what's going on with this? What is he trying to hide back here? Okay, there's paperwork. Go through that off camera. I'll let you know if they find anything at all. Oh, these look kind of cool. Ferry, F-E-R-R-E, Ferre. Gianfranco Ferre. These seem nicer. That's definitely something I'm gonna put aside. Oh, this got some weight. Oh, this has got a wallet. Armani Exchange, brand new. This is great. This is definitely what we would put into our whatnot auction right here. No price on it, but um, it looks like I see a little bit of wear on it. I wouldn't be surprised if you wore it a little bit. Polo, another wallet. And a Best Buy credit card, okay. This one doesn't look worn at all. No signs of wear. That's nice. All right, there's three very good things out of here, like perfect for our auctions, especially Christmas time. Ooh, what's this? That's a business card thing. Bosca, though. You could tell this is a high-end leather. You feel it. I feel it, I mean. I'm telling you, I feel it. You can't feel it. Not yet, right? I'm sure at some point they'll make the technology where you can feel it. We'll have feel-a-vision right now. You have locker nuts vision. A little picture frame. Okay. Mm. It looks mostly like junk mail and paper paperwork files and stuff. But like I said, I'll go through all of this off camera. Get it sorted out. Oh, look at this little Nokia. I think this is a little Frisbee. I'm not sure, but... Ooh, that's cool. Little globe. It's like a marble, like a glass marble with a world map on it little tiny globe that is actually kind of neat that is neat we'll probably attempt to put that in the what not why not right why not let's what not <laughs> enchanted crystal of san francisco oh i bet it's expensive it's out of one of those tourist shops what else you got here there's just enough little goodies in here to make this kind of interesting what's this lotus lotus l-o-d-i-s oh there it is right there Feels, uh, it feels decent. Looks brand new. David King Boston. That's definitely not new. That is very used, but still is a leather wallet. Money clip, whatever. Decent. All right, I'll go through that stuff later. What we got here? Martelli, 1993. Chateau Lafitte. 
Some French wine here, 1997, that's cool. All right, let's see what's in here. Shall we? It's another nice uh, briefcase, I like this one. Bunch of cash envelopes here, but they are devoid of cash. Business cards. Just trying to find that one envelope that he forgot to take the cash out. Looks like he went to the cash, uh, withdraw cash quite often. It's cashier's check, 100 bucks. All right. Whoa, what's this? Sacagawea, dollar. All right, that's a little better. Button, sticky notes. Ooh, what's in here? It's fat. Business cards. No, room keys for hotels. Jeez. Some little thread. Sell that. Touch tool so you don't have to touch the doorknob. That's important. We kept a lot of stuff, but so far not very much of value. Alright, let's look for a laptop. Uh, nope. All right, guys, it looks like more junk mail. All right, I'll go through and confirm it, but it'd be great if we found a cash envelope in here somewhere. We're gonna kinda need to in order to break even on this one. I'm not feeling this is gonna be a good turnout on this locker. And that's okay, we'll take chances, right? Yeah. All right, next briefcase. Sheesh, looks like a bunch more junk. Oh my goodness. The fact that we have all these cash envelopes to me says the guy took a lot of cash out of the bank. Like, I, I mean, unless he just was so cheap he didn't want to buy envelopes and just went and got the free, free envelopes from the bank. <laughs> but I think they just feel like they've all been used, you know? So if one of these has some cash in it, that would be very exciting. But right now, it's kind of a long shot. But hey. Somebody who never takes cash out of the bank is going to have a low chance of there being cash left behind. So, you never know. Well, there's a BART card. Same as cash, guys. For me. $2.50. I'm going to send that in and get, get it redeemed. Some more BART cards here. $2.50. Looks like $5.75. I can't tell if they've been used, though. Can't see anything on that one. These could add up to a little bit of cash. Another one. Ugh, so much garbage in here. All right, guys, it's not looking good. It's looking junk. I'm gonna go through it all though and make sure I don't miss anything. But I'll alert you if I find something. Don't hold your breath. Okay, this little pocket right here. Check this out. It's looking a little better. What do we got? Charger. What is this? Blue. Cell phone, I'm assuming, but it looks like it's kind of all right. And a wallet. Okay, there's a Target gift card. Hmm. Potential. I see a little Starbucks right here. Potential. And the BART card. $2.50. Okay, that'll add up, I guess. Not the twenty two fifty, but it'll add up to a little bit. Keep pulling those two dollar fifty centers out. Yeah, here's another one. Four dollars off your next visit. Oh, art cards. Two, I think it's two fifty. There's an AMC movie theater gift card. All right, that's decent. Oh, a couple more. Some credit cards in here. All right, that's a nice little wallet winger. Just used up and done though. Actually, I don't know if that is. Huh, I don't know. I'll put it aside. Okay, got a little, little, little better. Okay, I cleared a little bit of stuff out of here. The dry clean clothes aren't looking so good. A lot of work clothes, I think. Um, you know, like it's, oh, what's this? Felt like garbage for a second. Please no garbage, I don't want another one of those. Uh, paper towels, okay. Oh, let's see. oh, those are not, those are brand new solo shoes right here. Okay, not garbage. And the crowd screams, yay! <laughs> Brand new hand soap, bring that home. <laughs> yeah, it's looking like more stuff you stole out of hotel rooms. Okay, I just went through a little bit more of that bag, but I didn't film it. There was one of these in there, one of these bags. And what is this? 
The other one had the face mask in there too, and a ton of hand sanitizer. Welcome back kit. Oh, okay, so this is, oh, okay, so if someone went back to work, they gave them plenty of face masks and plenty of hand sanitizer to get through the day, apparently. All right, so we got a bunch of hangers and another one of those kits here. Right. It'll probably sell at the market. 